Monday, January the 31st, there's never a down moment in Thai politics. Today, there is a suggestion that uh, the Prime Minister of Thailand may have British nationality. Yes, uh, we have made a phone call to the British Embassy, and their first reaction is, what? What? <laughs> what? Did you just discover this, or is it something that the Prime Minister has finally confessed? <laughs> Well, probably it's, it's something that nobody has been aware of until today when Robert Amsterdam, uh, Kun Thak Sin Chinawat, a personal lawyer, yeah. he made a video link uh, interview to the Red Shirt today mm -hmm. and he said that he's now ready to file suit against the, uh, the Abyssin government mm -hmm. and, and the Prime Minister in particular yeah. in connection with last year mm -hmm. turbulence. Mm -hmm. But then something happened before this because I think one of the members of the ICC committee was mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in Bangkok attending a seminar and he was asked this question whether is it possible to file you know, a case against the Prime Minister of Thailand at the ICC and the answer seems to be no, not really. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that is... Uh, probably why this uh, the issue of British citizenship has come up because mm -hmm. apparently Cook, uh, Robert Amsterdam himself he admitted that it's, it's not possible to to bring uh, a visit to to court mm -hmm. as a Thai citizen. Mm -hmm. So there's only way left for for him to do so is to prove that uh, probably couldn't. Abyssin also <laughs> has some uh, hidden citizenship in the UK also. Was he born in Britain? He was born in Britain. But his father, his father his was father. Uh, working there and Abyssin was born in Britain. And I think, you know, under the law, you know, Thailand and the UK may have a law saying that if you're born in each other's country, you have a choice of nationalities. And also, it, it could have to do with uh, Abyssin education also. When, 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 when people are small and uh, the, the parents want them to have mm -hmm. uh, cheap education <laughs> in the UK, maybe this, uh, mm -hmm. there's some documents that could have been uh, uh, made to make it look that way yes. also. But uh, it depends on whether after that, uh, Abyssin has uh, renounced that citizenship already or not. No, you didn't have to renounce it. You have to choose. I think you, choose. you are either 18 or 21. Mm -hmm. You have to choose whether you want to be a Thai citizen or a citizen of another country that you mm -hmm. probably had born in. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the embassy people, they promised me that they go back and check <laughs> what is the latest status of Abyssin. Well, it could be a big controversy because mm -hmm. if that proves to be uh, not, you know, not wrong or true, then there is another issue of whether Thailand has a prime minister who is a British national. <laughs> and that could go against the constitution of Thailand. That could create a lot of problems. <laughs> not, not just here, but also in, in, in Britain as well. Yeah. So what has the prime minister said about that? Uh, he simply said that he's a Thai national and he's not a Montenegrin. Why, why Montenegrin? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's a name that comes up to his <laughs> to his mind. Yes. To this, but uh, another thing that's interesting for this uh, Robert Amsterdam thing is that he also accused the Thai government of having planned this for four years, mm -hmm. which is very interesting because four years ago, uh, Abhisit was not already a prime minister, mm -hmm. but in his report uh, to be submitted to the International Criminal Court, mm -hmm. he said that. It was an organized state policy to crack down on the red shirt, mm -hmm. and this policy began into shortly after the coup. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. uh, and he, he also mentioned that the, the, the training ground for the crackdown on the red shirt, uh -huh. which, which was in, uh, which was at the uh, eleventh regiment. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. was uh, there's a lot of detail, interesting details. Uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He also said that uh, a lot of uh, army and, and, and police officer have tested. Uh, have testified in favor of the red shirt and uh, they do not want to be named the report. So they call these people mm -hmm. witness number 22. Whoa. So uh, a lot of interesting. Uh, we, we, are, we are going through the, uh, to the report, which is yeah. uh, a lot of If the, all these details are interesting, mm -hmm. he should file this case in the Thai court so that the Thai people will have access to the information and be able mm -hmm. to find justice. If this was true, then, you know, the Thai judicial system must work on mm -hmm. 
the mm. evidence. Yes, uh, and, and from from Robert Amsterdam said today, he had a quite strong evidence that the men in black uh, was uh, in fact uh, government plans mm -hmm. who uh, make it look bad for the red shirt mm -hmm. during on, on April tenth. Uh, mm -hmm. So okay, so we will see if uh, the case could be brought into the Thai court as well. Uh, and you don't have to prove that uh, Pisit is a British citizen if you bring the case in the Thai system. So it will be all quite uh, transparent and, of course, very useful too. If all the allegations were true, all Thai people would want to have a chance to see justice done in Thailand.